We're on our way to Koban and we ran into another traffic jam. I don't know if you can see way at the front of the vehicle line. There's, there's my finger. There's a bunch of cows. So we just have to wait. We're just hanging out at this coffee farm. It's so bright over there, you can't see. It's oh, there it's it just is. Banana trees, anyways. Yeah. So there's not coffee there. It's okay. I think it's a soccer field. Rob's catching up on some writing for his forum post. I am working on some dinner, and we have our guard dog keeping watch here, just staring out, waiting for other dogs to come up. And scare them away. Yesterday we left Antigua and we started driving east and then north. Oh yeah. And we stopped That's correct. Somewhere. Uh I don't know the name of the town. We can write it on the screen right here because I forget what it's called too. It was called Hotel Posada De Montaña? La Montaña? Posada Montaña del Quetzal. That's it. Loki. <clears throat> it was like a little no, you go. hotel, but they had like individual cabanas. Go, go. About to be a dog fight. Sorry, puppy. Don't put that in there. So it was like a hotel and cabana. They had pools. Um, and we just camped there and we ate at the restaurant. The food at the restaurant there is so good. It was really good and it was really cheap, which was great. We did not see any quetzals. That is the national bird do you of like, Guatemala. Do you like how big my head is compared to your head? Yes. And that was about an hour south of here, I think. Today we went into Goban, dropped off our laundry to be washed and stocked up on groceries, and then we drove outside of town just a little bit to this coffee farm. And we have no pillowcases. <laughs> Poor planning on our part. But tomorrow morning, we're gonna do the coffee tour here. It's a coffee cooperative. We finished the night off with some leftovers. We had rice and chicken mole with tortillas. Pretty bright out here. Good morning. We're in Coban, and we're gonna go check out the coffee farm. Coffee tour Chico. We finished our coffee tour. The dog's finally chill. He was pretty good for most of the hot hike. And for the tasting, he got a little bored. He just wanted his own cup of coffee. The coffee was delicious. We learned about the different processes here. They have three different varieties on this farm. And there are different processes for drying the beans, I guess. So they're all harvested one bean at a time by hand. Two fingers, one bean, one hand. And you just pluck it off, but you have to make sure not to pluck off the plant part because then a new bean won't grow back. You have to leave the little green stem piece because otherwise a new bean won't grow there. For another year. So we watched the harvesting process and we learned about the plants and how they grow. They need 50% sun, 50% shade, so they use bananas, plantains, and avocados as shade trees, as well as some other local plants. They don't use lemon because the lemon tree will make the coffee acidic, so fruits such as bananas are great because they help with the sweetness. When the banana leaves uh, and the bananas fall off, they kind of just like leave them there as fertilizer to help provide nutrients to the coffee plants. Nutrientify. Yeah. They also started growing cardamom here on the property. And we got to try some fresh cardamom from the seed as well. Once the beans are harvested, 
you can remove them from the fruit. So there should be two beans in each fruit and they're covered in like a honey. They can either be dried one in the whole fruit, two with the honey, or three after the honey is washed off, which is what most of us are typically used to drinking. If you dry them in the honey or in the fruit, it smells sweeter when you're sniffing the coffee, but is more acidic when you taste it. We tried the beans after we removed them from the fruit, so we got to taste the honey. It was very sweet. And at the end of the tour, we tasted two different cups of coffee. I haven't had any coffee yet today, so I'm looking forward to this. That's really good. So we tried the washed process, uh, which was very good, just straight black coffee. And we tried the honey dried process as a cold brew. To us, it had less flavor, less body, um, and was slightly more acidic. I started thinking if all these people are farming like right next to each other, is there like some competition between the farmers? So I asked and she said there is. In fact, they have a yearly competition and a prize is awarded to whoever has the highest yield of coffee. Additionally, this past year, they won a Cup of Excellence, which is a, I think it's a national or maybe it's an international competition between like all of the coffee farms and this farm here at Chico uh, won the Cup of Excellence. I'm not surprised that they won. According to Gladys, the farmers here pay attention to pretty much every single step of the process, all the way down to the orientation that they plant the beans when they're starting a new coffee plant. So our tour guide was Gladys. She gave an excellent tour in English, and her English is very good. She said she's been learning off and on for about five years. Well, I guess the first question, or only question, was how long have you been learning English? Because it's very good. She had like a whole story. And the whole story was that she had been learning from like her friend's dad, but it was only once a week, so it wasn't really enough. Then her father offered to send her to university to learn English, and she went, but it was a class of 100 people with one teacher, so it was a very difficult environment to learn in, so she stopped that and kind of stopped learning for about a year. And then when COVID happened, her brother told her about a course at the same university that was online and had 10 students per class so she could learn English that way which might be a little easier but she would have to pay for it herself. It was 500 a month. Yeah 500 I assume quetzales a month which is pretty significant for this area. Um, that would be I don't know. Almost 100 bucks a month. Yeah, right, like, it's a little under, maybe like $75, $80 a month, um, which doesn't sound like a lot probably to us, uh, but it is a lot here. So she sat in on one of the courses and really liked the learning style and decided she wanted to do it. So she bought 100 chickens to take care of for three months and take, take care of, I'm not sure... <laughs> Yeah. Take care of them. And then sell the chickens, and she was able to pay back her loan. She had to take out a loan for the class, and she was able to pay it off. So it was a pretty amazing story. And now she's been here working at the coffee farm for a little over a year. So if you guys are ever in Coban, we recommend coming here to Coffee Tour Chico to take the tour. You can also do zip lines, which I don't think we're going to do today. And if you just want to buy some of the coffee and you're in the States, you can buy it through Blue Bottle Coffee Company. It won't have this label. This is their label. It, but the beans that are grown here are sold under the Blue Bottle label in the States. It's video making day. Hmm? I'm working on a video for you guys. Whenever we go and travel places, we like to try local things. Whenever we go to the grocery store, we generally try to pick up something new that we haven't had before. And last time, Rob picked up 
Quizzleteca. It says Licor Rosa de Jamaica. Jamaica in Spanish is hibiscus. In English, it's an island country. True. So I'm thinking this is some sort of hibiscus flavored liqueur. I don't know, it's pink, so it's a fun color. Ooh, it smells nice. Mm. That's pretty good. It'd be good in like juice or something. Like I don't know about straight up, but the flavor's not bad. We're not driving on the wrong side of the road. The road is backwards. It was just a small section of backwards road, and then you like crisscross the next left onto Paraferico. to go back to the right lane. So I don't understand the point of that. I'm thinking maybe it's market day in this village. It was in fact market day in that town. I couldn't tell you what the name of the town was though, but if you liked the rest of the video, then like this video and subscribe to our channel and come back in a couple days when our next video posts and see what we did because I can't tell you what that is right now. Watch us tube inside of a cave in our next video. Bye!